Alright farmers, it's Monday the 13th of March and we're back with some more. Right, and we start off today with some great news. Mr. Sealy P is back. Obviously, if you hadn't heard, he had his YouTube channel hacked the other day, but he's managed to get it all back. He's worked with YouTube, got it all sorted out, no problem. Now, Mr. Sealy P is ace. He's the one that actually got me into doing this in the first place. Brilliant. He is Mr. Farming Simulator. Great to have him back. Right, first up is going to be three mods that's actually classed as an update because the update is coming out on console. So the first up we've got the Zakowski PS Cedar attachment. This is by Sid Modding, JHHG Modding, 12.99 megabyte on the download. You're going to find them on the Cedars. So we've got these here, the PS300, PS450 and the PS600. Obviously, that goes with the width. 300, 3 meter at the maximum. So your options there... 10 horsepower requirement, that's quite low actually. 3 meter working width, 11 mile an hour working speed, 19 and a half grand to buy. Although we have got some option lectures. There you are. That puts it back to the original. Still saying 3 meter, mind you. All right, fair enough. Then got the option of wide for cereals, narrow for canola. So that's going to be those bits on the back. All right, fair enough. And then we've got wide for cereals again. Then you've got ridge markers, no. Ridge marker holders, yes or no. Tram line markings, yes or no. Oh, that's interesting. Make some tram lines. And then you've got row unit spacings. You've got six row, 18 inches, eight rows or six rows. Obviously, that puts out a bit more. I think it's 2.7 as standard and then three meter on the slightly wider one. Fair enough. We then got the PS450. Going to be the same, wide for cereals or narrow for canola. Ridge markers, yes or no. Or even have the holders and tram line markers if you want to. And then we've got the big one, the PS600. This is going to be a 6 metre working with 15 horsepower requirement for that one. Wide for cereals, narrow for canola. Ridge markers again, tram lines again. And obviously you can have a slightly smaller version, which is about 5.7 rather than the 6. Fair enough. Now... This comes along and it should really attach to something else that's come out today, which is going to be in this one here. The K K I've tried to pronounce this loads. Kazajkowski ST strip till. That name's really hard to do, but all right, fair enough. Again, we've got the ST300, the ST450, and the ST600. Obviously, these are all going to hook up with the back of the previous three so you go for the smaller one for the obviously the smaller one and then medium and then large all hooks up together fair enough so you've got 3900 litre capacity on it 170 horsepower requirement from your tractor three meter working with 11 mile an hour working speed 103 grand to buy if you go for the smaller version you then got dry fertilizer dry fertilizer and seed extension dry fertilizer extension dry fertilizer and seed or just dry fertilizer, you can have 3,900 or 4,900 with that extension. Light add-ons, beacon light, be back work LED lights, both or nothing. PTO connection, yes or no. Just there, fair enough. And obviously you've got the, what was it, four and a half meter on that one. Same options as before. And then we've got the six meter or up to six meter version on that one. Now, this again all hooks into this next one. The Zajkowski Strips Till Cedar. Again by Sid Modding, JHHG Modding. So this one is also going to be on the Cedars, but got a couple of different versions. So you've got itself a little implement that goes into the ground. 40 horsepower requirement, 3 meter working width, 11 mile an hour working speed. Same options as before on the previous versions. And again, with the Cedars itself, you can have... The same options or you can change the wheels up if you want to fair enough they even got the dry fertilizer or seeds if you want to do that as well now the only issue i've got with these is the smaller version doesn't seem to hook up to anything so back up there we've even got like the smaller version there and it's i'm right in line as well and it's not working but i've got the larger version here and it goes in backs up nicely and i must say with the larger versions I'm disconnected for some reason. What's going on there? There we are. That's better. For the larger versions, I do seem to get a bit of frame lag as well. Hmm, just interesting. Maybe I'm doing something completely wrong. 
Most probably am, but they do look good though. I mean, the detail on them is excellent. It really is. Oh, very nice. Right, so our first new mod for the day is the large billboard. This is by Saucy Modding. 0.81 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these in the construction menu and under decorations and others. And I say these, it's only one to be fair. But you spin it around and it's got the other side. <laughs> Excellent. So it's going to give you 8,400 a month, which is going to be the same as the municipal government subsidy sign. Not the big one, the sort of slightly smaller one. Smart, slightly smaller on the output, payout, whatever you want to call it. But these also light up at night, which is ace. I'm going to pop up a picture, show you what they look like. But they are ace. Oh, very nice. All right, next up is Silo 8. This is by RLSF Modding and Fabian Gogo Bear. Two megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it, as you can imagine, underweight. It's two and a half grand to buy. You then got the options of warning stripes, no, outside, inside, large inside, or nothing. And you got rope, no, or yes. Oh, that's all right. A little bit of rope on the front, why not? I mean, obviously, it's going to hook up to your three point. So put it on the front of your back, depending on whatever you're doing with your tractor. Oh, very nice. All right, next up is Scythe. This is by Andy Modding, not me. 1.5 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under mowers in the vehicle category because this is ace. 10 horsepower engine, although you do it yourself. I didn't know I was rated at 10 horsepower, mind you. Four mile an hour top speed, half a meter working width. Well, that's all right, to be fair. That's all right. It's only going to cost you 40 as well. What it's ace about this is it floats like a Harry Potter broomstick. Oh, it's brilliant. Right, so I've got it in the back of the pickup truck. And also, because it only weighs 50 kilo, you can pick it up. You've got to go for the handle there like that. And then away you go. Oh, no, I've dropped it already. No, I haven't. There you go. Come on. What's well, stuck? Well, I've got it stuck already. Uh, I believe I have. I've got it stuck. All right. What's oh, oh, it's proper stuck. Let's wedged in the side. Dear, oh dear. Can we get it out? No, this. What's going on with me, player? Oh, that's having a bit of a wobbler. Um, yeah, maybe you shouldn't have put it in the back of a truck. To be fair. All right. Hold on a minute. Right, so now I've sold me truck, we can get back to it. Now, you've got the start and stop the engine as usual, and you will need to drive it like you normally would do. But even if you get out of the vehicle, look, it just hovers there. That's ace. <laughs> right, so we'll jump into it. There we are. So we'll start the engine. Oh, it's already going, to be fair. So when we come over here, you can see where I've had a little go of it already. It mows the grass. LBNX, just turn it on. It's chopping up the grass. You can even chop up your wheat if you wanted to. Not quite sure why you'd want to mow wheat, mind you, but you don't get any crap out of it. But ha <laughs> that's ace. Just straight through the middle of me wheat field. Brilliant. Right, next up is the IT Runner Pack. This is by Pepe978, 7.3 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under trailers. So we've got a floor container, a tipper, a skip and a grain container. So we'll go into the floor container one. It's got an up six and a half thousand price tag you then got the option of bales load vehicles or bales main color any one of those I've pretty much just gone for the same color there you are green that's better fair enough you then got the tipper container 12,000 litre capacity so it's got a 12 meter working width load vehicles tipper back opening just load vehicles what why has it got an 18 meter working width all right, fair enough. Starts off at seven grand, mind you. Change the main color, same as the previous one. You then got the skip version. So this is going to be a 16 and a half thousand litre capacity. Seven and a half grand, although that looks all right, actually. The two tone with the stainless steel and the red. Change the main color again. We'll go over navy gray. All right, fair enough. We'll go into the last one, the grain container. This is the biggest version in the pack. 31,500 litre capacity, 11,500 grand. Again, main option changes the main colour. Well, I do like that stainless steel as well, with the little colourful accents. Oh, very nice. But there is a note on the website that says compatibility with all vehicles with a lifting arm is not guaranteed. He says it is compatible with a Fiat 19038 version 
1.1.0.0. So just bear that in mind. If you are using something else, it may not work. So just go get that fit. Fair enough. And our last mod for the day is the Lizard AW700 series. This is by Adams Kong, 19.4 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in a couple of different places. You just come down to your mods and DLCs. It's a lot easier. So we've got the truck itself, and then we've got these three backs that go onto it. So we've got the grain hopper. So this has got a 15,000 litre capacity, 6,400 to buy. Main option is the side stripes. Design 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine or nothing fair enough cover yes or no you can change the main color to whatever you like fair enough you then got the closed body itself now this isn't an auto load so it's just chuck it in the back yourself if you've got the liftable pallets mod or a forklift job however you're doing it fair enough you're going to add the extra color if you wanted to well to be fair I mean, we've come straight in, and it's given us a £1,000 colour scheme on it. And they're all a grant, so really it's 4700 to buy. But all right, no worries. we then got the platform body, 5700 again, because we've got the colour option that is all a grant. All right, fair enough. And then you've got the side stripes, design all the way up to design nine again. Fair enough. Then we've got the actual truck itself. This is Ace. Now, this reminds me, and I know it's on console. That's why it's got the Lizard badge on the front. Old style Mercedes van. Yeah, I remember these back in the day. Excellent. 90 horsepower engine, 68 mile an hour top speed, 14,700 to buy as standard. You then got the engine set up so we can go up to 109 horsepower, 115, 122, 136. And then back to 90. Got the wheel set up. Actually just jacks the back axle up a little. Like that. Fair enough. Bumper. Got design one or two. So it's either design one black. Two body colour. Side stripes. No. Blue. Orange. Green. Grey. Or nothing. Main colour. Obviously is going to be your main colour. And then rim colours is going to be your rims. Now. This is Ace. I like this truck. It just reminds me of something back in the days, so like an eight, 80s, 90s style truck, especially Mercedes one. Oh, love it. Now, if you do LB and A, unfold the back. I have got a pallet in there, mind you, but it's not auto load or auto unload. It's a liftable pallet, so just bear that in mind. But still, I do like this truck. This is ace. Definitely brings back memories of younger years. <laughs> very nice i've also got a new map so this is perbeck 22 by ms modding 406.15 megabyte on the download it's been converted from 19 to 22 so that is brilliant we've got a few updates as well we've got the bavarian building package by bayan agra we've got the ultimate mowing and bailing pack by mac trucker 921 we've got the flegal asw pack by agra modding we've got the lizard katrina 9000 by miotto modding we got the X7 VT Drive Track by Farm Mods TV. We got the new Holland T7 T7000 series by Blower. We got the Map Fitch Duel by Lucas G. And there's no new save required, so that's all right. We've also got the Map Medvedin by Medis MGS. Now it does say, attention, please back up your old version map before downloading this upgrade. There are big ground level changes, so just bear that in mind if you're going to update it. So this is a current testing list that Giants are working on for console, and it's 17, so that's all right indeed. So that's your mods done for you. Drop in the comments below which one's your favourite. We'll see what people are looking at. And if you haven't already, go check out our merch store. Go pick yourself up some meat nice. <laughs> Excellent. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.